This year we have a lot to celebrate. Ceilings have been shattered. Despite being a pretty funny guy, Jimmy Kimmel kicked off the Oscars with a seriously powerful opening monologue and he nailed it. Sure, there were a couple of jokes here and there, but thankfully they did not take away from the real message. With all of the sexual harassment allegations surrounding Hollywood right now, many, including myself, have wondered if and how the Oscars would address the controversy. And well, ladies and gentlemen, wonder no more because Harvey Weinstein, as well as the movements Time's Up, Me Too, and Never Again were talked about the minute the show began. Jimmy Kimmel, who returned to the 90th Academy Awards this year as host, did not shy away from addressing some of the most controversial things that have happened in Tinseltown. But before Jimmy started talking about some of the hot topics of the evening, he kicked off his monologue with a few little jokes, one of which was the awkward and most talked about moment from last year's Oscars. Yes, the La La Land and Moonlight Club. This year, when you hear your name called, don't get up right away. <laughs> Give us a minute. We don't want another thing. Now, it wasn't long after his joke about last year's mix-up and a funny comment about the Oscar statue that Jimmy started to talk about the controversy surrounding sexual harassment in the industry. Now, this is where things started to get serious, people. Jimmy did not waste any time coming after Harvey Weinstein and the other men who've been accused of sexual harassment. In fact, he said, quote, what happened with Harvey and what's happening all over has been long overdue. We can't let bad behavior slide anymore. The world is watching us. We need to set an example. And the truth is, if we are successful here, if we work together to stop sexual harassment, women will only have to deal with harassment all the time at every other place they go. Yes, that might be true, actually. All right, so he totally added in a joke to what started off as a strong statement, but we all definitely heard the message loud and clear, did we not? Jimmy then went on to list all the movements that have ignited within the entertainment industry, like Me Too, Time's Up, and Never Again, all while asking the audience members in the room, as well as those watching at home, to listen to what the supporters of these movements have to say. Things are changing for the better. They are making sure of that. Uh, it is positive change. This is a night for positivity, and our plan is to shine a light on a group of outstanding and inspiring films. However, Jimmy did make sure not to let the sexual assault allegations overshadow some of the many glass ceilings that were shadowed or are currently being shattered in Hollywood at the moment. Jimmy talked about some of the many nominees that are making history, like Rachel Morrison, who is the first female cinematographer nominated for an Oscar. Greta Gerwig being the first woman nominated for Best Director in eight years, and of course, Jordan Peele, who not only is the first African American to be nominated for Best Picture, Best Directing, and Best Original Screenplay, he is the third filmmaker to be nominated for all three of those awards for a directorial debut. Now, a lot was talked about during Jimmy's opening monologue, but please tell me what was your favorite part of it all. Let me know in the comments section, or y'all can hit me up directly at Miriam Issa on Twitter Twitter, at Miriam underscore Issa on Instagram. And when you're done with that, please click right over here to check out some of the best dressed celebs at the 2018 Oscars. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'm your girl Miriam Issa, and I'll see you guys next time.